Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the first leaked benchmarks for the brand new Ryzen 3000 series processors. So let's get started. So guys, as you probably see in the previous video, I did an overview of all the SKUs from the Ryzen 3000 lineup that we're going to see announced probably in CES this January. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the first benchmarks regarding the mobile chips for from the Ryzen 3000 series. We're going to be taking a look at some very low power APUs that seem pretty interesting and we have some Geekbench scores for these specific chips. Now, these CPUs were seen in some HP laptops, some 14 and 17 inch laptops, and uh, these obviously are not released yet. And the CPU architecture that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Raven Ridge architecture, the same as before. So definitely take these results with a grain of salt. And I want to just say now that these are not really indicative of what we're going to see on the desktop side. These are mobile chips, mobile APUs with Ryzen cores, Ryzen 3000 cores and uh, Vega mobile graphics. Now the chips that we saw are the 300U, 3200U, 3300U and 3500U and 3700U. Now the 300U is a pretty pretty weird SKU. Uh, it seems to be a very low end Athlon chip or something like that. So it doesn't really, uh, it's not really included in this category, but uh, obviously this is a new chip and it is in the Ryzen 3000 series, but it is a very low end chip that we don't really know much about. Now, as you can see on your screen right now, these uh, processors starting from the 3200U all the way to the, to the 3700U uh, are going to feature two cores and four threads or four cores and four threads and at the higher end uh, we're going to have the 3500U and 3700U with four cores and eight threads. Now the base clocks as you can see for the low end are going to be 2.6 without knowing the boost clock and then 2.1 for the 3300U, 2.1 for the 3500U as well, and 2.2 and 3.8 respectively for the uh, 3700U when it comes to base and boost clock. Now, all these APUs are going to have, as I said, Vega graphics in them, as we saw previously on the uh, APUs for the desktop platform as well as laptops uh, that AMD released in the past. Uh, we saw that this combination Ryzen cores and Vega graphics was really good and it has really great results and I'm actually really excited to see what they're going to do on the desktop side of things as well. Now the scores that we saw are, we're going to actually take a look at the 3500U only because that's the most interesting one. Uh, you can just pause the screen and take a look for yourself if you want to take a look at the other ones but uh, for the 3500U we saw a single core performance of uh, 3776 to 3870 points and then on the multi-core uh, a score of 11,284. Now what that means uh, is as you can see these scores are pretty good but uh, you have to keep in mind that comparing it to something like an 8th, 8th gen Core i5 like the 8250U uh, we would see a much higher single and multi-core uh, performance here. Uh, for example, this CPU, the 8250U, has a score of 4,500 in single core and 14,000 in multi-core. So we should not really compare them to these CPUs when it comes to comparing them to Intel counterparts. Uh, they're actually better to be compared to the, because of their ultra low power nature, they should be compared to the Y series that Intel provides. For example, the i7 7Y75, which is found in most MacBooks. And uh, it has a score of 4200 in single core 
which is obviously higher than the AMD one. But this is obviously a really common recurrence we see with AMD versus Intel, which I think is going to be fixed when it comes to the desktop side of things. But on the other side, on the multi-core performance, the i7 scored a very low 7000 to 8000 score, while we saw the 11000 on the AMD processor. Now guys, keep in mind that everything I said in this video is just leaks. It doesn't really give us a full picture of what we're going to see in the desktop side of things, but these are the first benchmarks that we have at least for the mobile APUs. Now guys, keep in mind CES is around the corner, so we will definitely hear a lot more about these CPUs and coming closer to that date we will see a lot more leaks and I'll definitely make sure to keep you posted on that as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, make sure to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll hopefully see you guys all in the next one. Paradise.